So, as you can hear, my small homemade transmitter is transmitting music to the radio. So a transmitter is nothing new or nothing special for me, but this one is a little bit special because it covers 1.1 up to 20 MHz. So you can adjust the frequency with these switches and with this tuning capacitor. So I'm not really making a live adjustment if you want to call it like that because this thing is a little bit dodgy. I mean look at this. If you get close with my hand to the switches. So as I said a little bit dodgy. So this is a pretty straightforward circuit. Here's the oscillator. Here's the um, RF amplifier and here's the AM modulator. All 2N3904 transistors. And this thing produces a neat AM modulation. And yeah, it's pretty frequency stable. This is not the transmitter that I said in one of my other videos, as you can see on this small case. It's just a small testing transmitter. Um, yeah, for testing radios or whatever. Transmit your own music to the radio. The signal is very weak, so the antenna wire is directly connected to the antenna. It's, there's no electrical connection, as you can see it's still insulated, but I've wound it around the antenna. And this transmitter may have some gaps, so it's not really covering 1.1 up to t uh, 20 megahertz. It's nearly covering it. Maybe there's a gap from 6.1 to 6.3 megahertz, something like that. I don't know it exactly. I haven't really tested it exactly. <laughs> so, but that's my small transmitter. Okay, I'll show you another range, another frequency range. So, let's let's make 5 megahertz. That sounds neat. Okay, 5 megahertz was the um, which one was it? The 22 micro Henry coil. That should be this one. And now let's tune in. Also tuning is a little bit tricky. And also, due to the really really straightforward and simple circuit design if you are going down with the frequency with the transmitter if the frequency goes down the modulation level increases so you have to uh, turn down the volume if you go down with the frequency with this transmitter and also it's not making the 100 percent am but it's definitely loud enough so that's my small small and little bit oh, on 5 megahertz it's, it's also kind of stable but that's my small transmitter from medium wave to short wave so we can do another frequency but this will be the last different frequency in this video let's make 7 megahertz oh, let's make 6.5 which is also a audio subcarrier frequency of some TV systems. I don't know which exactly, but I know it's an audio carrier frequency. Okay. There, there it was somewhere. No, it's, it's not the ground wave. The disadvantage is of connect uh, the disadvantage of connecting the antenna from the transmitter to the antenna from the radio is that you get some ghost signals if you want to call it like that. So I have no idea where this thing is currently transmitting. As I said, it's just a small dodgy transmitter fun project if you want to call it like that. Ah, here we are. Okay, we are going up with the frequency. And as we're going up with the frequency, we have to turn up the volume. Okay, small modulation. Okay, 
that was my demonstration of my small homemade shortwave or medium wave, whatever you wish, <laughs> transmitter. Best regards, Stefan.